Hello, we are the mascots of the Olympic Games, and today we'd like to show you the events in which China holds the world record. Ooh, this fur coat makes me look huge, but it's not for me, it's for you, because after all, I am the world champion in building small cages for fur-bearing animals. I don't believe in stunning the animals before they are killed. That may sound horrible, but you wouldn't believe the money I make this way. Psst. I wouldn't need to do this, but you like fur so much. I know, I know, it's illegal to sell tiger claws and valuable rhinoceros body parts. But it must be alright if the police continue to ignore it so diligently. So I just carry on doing it. And, well, if you tourists buy my rare and expensive souvenirs, it's you who gets into trouble at your customs office. Psst. For some reason, there are less and less of these animals. I came up with a solution. I breed them in industrial animal farms, just like all the other animals. Oh, my back aches and my sex drive has gone down. There is only one solution, cat meat. It cures rheumatism and works as an aphrodisiac. And if a cat is occasionally boiled alive, well, traditions are traditions, aren't they? It's no different in your country. We would breed fewer cats, but you want our collars made out of cat fur and our cozy cat blankets to cure rheumatism. If you're going to do something, do it properly. I make the industrial farms for the cute little bunnies really big, and then I make the cages really small. That's how I turn Chinese bunny rabbits into a juicy European roast rabbit. Did you know every second rabbit in your freezers comes from us? Mmm, excellent. I love dog meat. And because it has become so popular, we now need huge industrial breeding farms for dogs. If it works for chicken and pigs, it must be great for dogs, right? And this despite the fact that more and more Chinese prefer their dogs to be pets rather than meals. I might be eating the Chinese dog meat, but you're wearing the fur of the Chinese dogs. The slogan of this year's Olympic Games in China is One World, One Dream. When it comes to animal welfare, one world, one nightmare would be more appropriate. The animal abuses you have just seen are the result of European consumer behavior. Four Paws is committed to ending animal abuse worldwide. The modern world economy is so interconnected that cause and effect frequently lie many thousands of miles apart. Increased consumer awareness in your country can influence animal welfare internationally.